in this video, I just want to kind of go over the little updates that I got going on here. Uh, the 240 is broken. The Supra may or may not have a T56 on the way. What are you doing? Huh? Hey. Hey. Okay, I don't know. You better not be eating that. That's not safe. All right, so 240 is broken. Sheer third gear off. Wheel hop is not good. That is not a good thing. No, I don't clutchless shift when I actually do drive the car. All the clutchless shifting videos were just to make a point. A lot of you guys wanted to see under the hood of this bad girl. Very 2000s-esque. Okay, we've got an HKS blow valve down here in the bumper. I unhooked that thing because I don't want to hear it. It is, It sounds disgusting. I'm not a big HKS guy. So now it turbo flutters, which is so much more modern to me. We've got a Virtual Works intake manifold. This baby right here is old but works really good. I do have a sheet metal intake on the way. I may or may not have a lot of stuff on the way, guys. I'm talking like bill head, turbo manifold, new turbo, freaking intake manifold. We're going a whole nine yards, man. I gotta redo all this. I got this other cylinder head over here that I uh, had as a spare. I don't even remember where it came from. Pretty sure it was a long block that I put in the 240. With these cylinder heads right here, we have distributor, right? I'm gonna take a frost plug that goes in the SR20. We're gonna plug that hole up. And then on the other side, these do not come with a cam sensor port. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cherry sensor from a Haltech, and I'm going to drill and tap the side of the head. This isn't very thick, but the only thing that they're supposed to, the only thing that's going to be held back is oil. There's not going to be any like pulling on the threads or anything. The sensor's just going to sit there, probably going to silicone it and uh, it'll be able to read GTE cams. We are gonna have to pull the engine, and one of the big reasons why I am going to order the T56 is because I only wanna do this once. It is a freaking nightmare to get in and out of this, especially with as anal as I am about how pretty the car is, uh, and I was with this with the white with the white Supra as well. Now, I don't wanna damage anything getting it in, and I don't wanna damage anything getting it out, so if the least amount of times I have to do this, the better. And I'm only wanting to do this once, so I'd rather spend the freaking eight three eighty five hundred dollars right now on a T56 to put it on the engine when it goes back in, because I have to pull the engine to do the lower to do the oil pump, and in order to do the oil pump, you have to drop the sump. So can't be done in the car, unfortunately. So drop the sump, put a VBTI oil pump on there, so that way we have a crank sensor, so we can do proper trigger points. That's very important. What are you doing? Hey! Uh-huh. Just do whatever you want, I guess. So, as for a turbo, guys, we will be doing a small guy. So, I'm thinking that okay, I either might do a G35900, do the same thing that's on uh, Sean's car, or I might do a G3770, a little bit smaller, but it will be a very, very snappy thing. Only issue with that is that those will create a lot of torque and there's not really too much you can do to keep the torque from coming in really, really hard with as small as they are. Like, you can only do so much with ignition timing. And uh, yeah, that, that's what really bends the rods in these. If I do a 770, I'd have to keep the boost fairly low. Obviously, those things are good for 770 to, at the crank. You can probably get a little bit more out of them if you overspool them, which is not the best thing to do. And I'm pretty sure that's what I did with this turbo. So this guy right here is spicy. Figured I'd make a little update video, do a little somewhat better walk around to show you guys what's going on here. Very 2000s-esque. All right, so we did a quick transition here. It's been a couple days. Actually, yesterday it freaking snowed, and then this morning it snowed. Now it's 50 degrees outside and has at least 50 mile an hour winds. So I did some thinking, I did some ordering, and I uh, went ahead and ordered all my cams and everything for the cylinder head. So this is actually a non-PVTI cylinder head that is uh, still good. Uh, it's been chilling for a hot minute. And so what I'm gonna be doing is modifying this. I'm gonna run a Haltech sensor or some sort of sensor here. I'm actually just gonna drill and then tap the head and uh, just steal the threads or whatever because there's not any pressure here. So, should be good to go uh, to run a cam sensor. Now, this is the OEM one, of course, and uh, it's gotta be set pretty uh, pretty perfect. So, with a Haltech Cherry sensor, the entire sensor is threaded, so I can set it to whatever position I want. The only issue is, is that I'm seeing that there are some pull-up resistors and stuff that you're going to need, and also voltage. I'm not entirely certain what that, what I could do with that. 
I'm hoping maybe I can find one that is just a two pin or a two wire sensor that does not require voltage and just requires uh, cam input and a sensor ground. Uh, I'm going to do some research, see what I can find, but this is what is going to happen. I will definitely be using this. So one of these days when it gets a little bit warmer outside because it is still a little bit chilly, I'm going to disassemble this. I'm going to take all the steel out of it and then I'm going to pressure wash it. Uh, this is an aluminum head so it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to deep clean it and everything so I can get it as beautiful as the cylinder head on the 240. And also, um, I'm going to clean up the valves and everything. I'm going to wire wheel the valves uh, at, on the bottom. Uh, they're a little bit rusty. Uh, it's not a super big deal. I'll probably knock them out. Actually, I have to knock them out because we're putting new springs in. So I'm going to order a bunch of gaskets and everything. Obviously, we're going to do all OEM gaskets. So I'm going to have a whole gasket kit uh, coming from a secret site, my secret place. I love getting my gaskets from. And we'll do all the valve stem seals and everything. And also, I've got some GTE covers. Uh, this is just going to be one, one pretty engine after we are all finished. It's going to be great. Cannot freaking wait. I uh, got to turn this car into my car as soon as possible. I dig the old 2000 style engine bay, but it is not my style. So we got to get this thing changed as soon as possible. Minor little update on the 240 and the Super Guys. Not that much going on at the moment, but me and Sean will be kicking out the content uh, very, very quick here in a little while. But I will be continuing to put out the shorts, just uh, little things here and there, just to kind of keep everybody held over. So I hope everybody is enjoying those things. But that's it for this update. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys later.